Well, the end of the mission is arrived. We go to ABC News now for this report. The following special report from ABC News. Good morning, this is Steve Bell in Washington, and there she is. The space shuttle Discovery about to land at Edwards Air Force Base in California. Discovery presently less than 14,000 feet and about seven miles from touchdown with Commander Henry Hartsfield at the control. Virgin in a glide slope coming off the uh, heading alignment circle, landing up with our runway 23 at Edwards. This, of course, the first landing for Discovery after a maiden flight that's been termed a major success. Joining me now from the Johnson Space Center in Houston, former astronaut Gene Cernan. Gene, a lot of accomplishments uh, on this miles from the end of the runway. It's, it's, it's been a big week, uh, Steve. We're within a minute now of touchdown. Uh, Discovery launched just six days ago as the heaviest shuttle with the perhaps the most ambitious commercial payload, and here she comes home with an empty payload bay. Thank you, John. We have six crew members aboard this one. Along with Hartsfield, Michael Coates, the pilot, Judy Resnick, Steve Hawley, Richard Mullaney, and Charles Walker. Steve, it's uh, always an impressive sight to see that bird come back home after realizing where she's been for this past week. It really is. It's just awesome, and it looks like a beautiful day at Edwards Air Force Base, about 70 miles from Los Angeles. We can't see the ground, but here she comes over the top within uh, within about 500 feet. The landing gear will be the next major event. We ought to see that coming out just be there. It comes now. The gear's down, altitude uh, 300 feet. Maiden flight for Discovery after just three postponements of the launch. The a near she's, perfect flight. She's been coasting as a glider all the way in from orbit. It's amazing uh, she can come back home as pure and smooth as, as she does, but it's, uh, hey, it's a pilot's dream, down. Steve. There it is. Six successful days in space. Gene, a couple of very minor glitches, more or less. One getting a lot of attention, some no, ice on an outside vent. Well, that, uh, that ice... Uh, down at uh, mission lapse time of six days, 56 minutes, four seconds. Nose gear down at six days, 56 minutes, 16 seconds. That icicle that formed, Steve, was really uh, potentially a problem coming in during reentry if it perhaps would have hit a con broken off and hit a control system as the spacecraft heat up during entry. Uh, beyond that, I, I think, uh, and I heard NASA engineers say it'll never happen again. I believe it won't. And, of course, the three commercial satellite launches, absolutely the most important part of this mission, especially after two failures back in February. The key to the future of the shuttle, uh, Steve, for this entire country, of course, is to make it a viable commercial launch vehicle. Uh, and that it is becoming, not without problems, of course, but uh, this flight was a, certainly a major step in the right direction. So there she is, Discovery, stopped on the runway at Edwards Air Force Base. We'll continue our coverage of the Space Shuttle Discovery right after this commercial message and the word from our local station. Stand by for post landing belt. Discovery, Roger. 